Yeah, it's super interesting being back on social media now at 37 years old. <clears throat> and uh, like just seeing like, you know, the questions people are asking me in the comments and stuff. And, you know, <clears throat> I like to make be honest. I, I really like to be honest because I feel like if people are honest, you know, it's just good for everyone. So I really am just going to be honest. Um, Select arm system type, arm stay. If I had chosen a different path, um, you know, in life, a different path, um, and I just completely stayed away from all black people, my life would have been way better, like way better. If I had just married a nice white boy from my neighborhood growing up or from my church, and lived in the suburbs and finished college, yeah, I'd probably be a doctor or a lawyer, and I probably would have had a totally normal, wonderful life without any drama at all, without any abuse at all. Like, I could have just found a nice person and married them, and they wouldn't have been black, and my life would have been awesome. You know, I do hold the culture responsible for our norms, and what we like to celebrate, champion, and promote. And the thing that I say that is trash about black culture is the fact that we do promote the things that's worse for us. But the first thing that I see with this woman, although she obviously still is decent looking and everybody ages. So I don't know how you guys go about comparing and contrasting. I'll leave that up for y'all as far as what it is that she's become. I do think that somebody sent me another video about her saying her and her son is living in a homeless shelter now and that she is single baby mama, but we'll get to that on another video. But, you know, she does outside of the tattoo on her face and all that. Okay. All right. She looked like she for the streets, even though she got a cross on her, on her, uh, necklace. She's basically not taking accountability for the decisions that she made for the lifestyle that she embraced. And she's saying, if I would have stayed away from black people, instead of saying I should have done better in my life in general, not who it is that I associated myself with as far as who I would have married, because contrary to popular belief, white people get divorced too. white people have, um, you know, abuse problems and stuff like that, too. And so, yeah, it's a possibility that if you would have made better decisions, you would have attracted a different type of crowd, whether they was white or black. But the lack of accountability and the lack of responsibility, somehow, some way, it always still becomes somebody else's problem. And I do think that the culture is largely trash or the things that we celebrate the most. But you cannot tie that to a demographic of people. You have to tie it to a culture, a thing that you are attracted to. It's almost like saying, you know, if you're a white person and you just automatically associate acid, meth, popping pills, grunge rock and skateboarding and living like a hobo to all white people, that would be false because it's a culture. It's a subculture uh, within a demographic of people. That's a preference that then gives you that desire or the thing that you attract yourself to. Then you have to hold yourself accountable again, even in that situation, because you can't blame it on an entire demographic of people. So what she's really trying to say is that the culture is trash she lacked responsibility. She wanted to be for the streets. And that's why she ended up on the foot of love of Ray J. So if y'all don't know, her name is Monica Leon, but she's really danger for the love of Ray J. And so that's probably why she got that, <laughs> that crazy tattoo on her face. But let, let's continue. Awesome. It's always somebody else's fault. Your choices are somebody else's fault. I wouldn't have been in the hospitals. I wouldn't have been in the jails or the prisons. I wouldn't have gotten attacked. And 100% of the people who attacked me were black. 100% of them were black. 100% of the people that I've had to fight were black. That's why you ended 100% of the people that watch that show that are already, with just being on social media again, are saying fucked up shit. And you know, what's interesting about this whole thing, right? is had I not been so empathetic to the black situation 
And had I not really Thought just it was all people of color. the history and read so many books in college, I read Elaine Brown's book, She's a Black Panther. I read a lot of the Black Panther's books in college. And I was super upset about what was happening. And I did not have a black family. I had maybe a, like a handful of people who were black in my family. Everybody else was not black. Ugh. So I guess you can blame smoking cigarettes. And yeah, Yo, they- women smoking cigarettes is like the most played out thing that I've ever seen in my entire life. I guess she can blame that on black people too, right? This the smoker of the cigarettes and how that playing out. Ugh. Ugh. Treated me bad, but not not as bad as the black family members treated me. No. Oh. My black my black family members treated me the worst. Not the other races. And black people in my schools and in the community treated me the worst and still do. She's probably right about that, but it's not, but still, you know, cause the people that has done some of the worst things to me is people that look like me, but I'm not going to hang that on the head of every single black person. That's just the culture by which they come by. And so I do blame it on the culture and say that it's trash. But my father always taught me that life is 10% of what happens to me and 90% of how I react to it. And so I didn't have to become of it or I didn't have to become it because I was of it, I made better decisions to get myself from it. And so I still align myself with people that are good from all races. It doesn't matter what demographic they are, but I absolutely despise the culture. So I'm saying all this to say, I never wanted to be your role model. I never wanted to be your icon. Just wanted to be on TV. I hate you. I do, I hate you. <laughs> and why would I not? Why would I not hate you? Look what you've done to me. Look how you've ruined my fucking life. But also, I do love you. I do. No, you don't. I still love you. I still love my fans. I love the community. I love black people. I do. I still do. Yo, how do a former reality star that got no motion, if it wasn't for her saying some crazy stuff, y'all wouldn't even have sent me this video. And I always like to link back to the content creator in the description of the video. So we'll get there. How do a former reality star that got no motion um, call people they fans? Delusion is crazy, bro. But but I fucking hate you guys, too. I fucking hate you. I hate how ignorant you are. I hate how you post my naked pictures and tell me about dangerous smash zombies. I fucking hate you. Why and if you, you do that shit to my face, I'll probably fucking punch you in the fucking face. Why do you have naked pictures? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is? where is the personal responsibility at in this thing? If I see you. So I would really suggest if you see me in public, be as respectful as possible. Because I do not give a fuck. I will fucking knock you out. And then I'll do a video of you and put it on my page. And I have money, so I'll just fucking hire a lawyer and then I'll get you locked up. Like, I don't give a fuck anymore. Like, I didn't give a fuck then. But I really don't give a fuck now. And I have resources. All right, so we're going to revisit this video, yo, because, uh, again, I think that somebody sent me a video that said that they was living in a, in a homeless shelter. She talk, she talking wild. Let me let me play a little bit more. So, yeah, if I'm out with my son and you fucking see us, if you're not going to be respectful, you better just walk the other way. Because if I'm out with my son and you start up some shit, I'm going to take you out. Like, I will just take you out. Like, I don't give a fuck at all. I'm not playing no games with black people anymore. You guys are. All right. So this chick is wildin'. I'm curious as to what y'all think. Make sure y'all tap into the Patreon. The best time to join the Patreon is the beginning of month. So make sure y'all 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 tap in on that front. Also, make sure you get that T. Chanley. 40% off your first order plus 20% off for life. That link is also in the description. Uh, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Y'all are the greatest on earth. And we just going to get there. We going to get to it. We going to get to some understanding. Uh, and we going to figure it all out. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Stay away from crazy women like this because she going to blame all of her problems on you. And then she going to threaten you, obviously. And then it's going to go left. Let me know what y'all think inside of the comments. I got to go find that other video now.